Welcome to this video, which is all about creating Power Apps in SharePoint Online. So we're going to be taking a look at a couple of different methods in ways that you can create Power Apps directly from SharePoint Online lists, as well as doing things like customizing SharePoint lists using Power Apps and embedding Canvas Power Apps into SharePoint pages. So let's jump in. The first method that we'll be taking a look at will be how we can create a new Canvas Power App directly from a SharePoint Online list. Now, not many people know this, but you can quickly create a templated Power App that can interact with SharePoint lists. Uh, this app is templated and contains all the key features uh, that you need to create, view, edit, and delete line items directly from your SharePoint list, but it's all via a Canvas Power App. There's available to access via a browser, you can embed it into Microsoft Teams, or even access it from a mobile device or tablet. Now, the first thing we need to do is navigate to our modern SharePoint list. From here, we're then gonna click on the integrate button and we click on Power Apps and we're then gonna click on create an app. Uh, it's gonna ask us for an app name. So in this case, um, I'm just gonna call this um, uh, my restaurant review app and then click on create. Now, this might take um, a couple of minutes because what it's doing is it's spinning up a brand new Canvas app using this templated model as we've described, and it's pulling together this from all of the data that I've already put into my SharePoint list. So there's a little tip is to make sure that you've actually got some data in that SharePoint list before you do this step, because it can re really help you then model the, um, the app afterwards so you can see what it looks like and what data is being pulled through onto the page. So this is now the Power App that's been created. We can see on the left hand side, it's automatically created me a browse screen, which is the home page, a detail screen. So when you select a particular item, as well as an edit screen. Um, and this is what would look like if I was creating a brand new um, item. Now, there's a few things we might want to sort of um, touch up on this, um, but you can see already it, it's kind of pulling through the data. So it's already got the, the title, uh, it's got the sort of head chef from the SharePoint list and it's got the address, but maybe we might want to change this and we're gonna change this actually to the rating. So we'll select the rating and then it's gonna show us the numbered rating here. Um, we might want to make some other changes as well. Um, so if we come through to the detail screen, we just want to make sure that everything's in the kind of relevant order of the form that we like. So it looks quite good in here. Um, we're going to check the new um, and edit item form. Um, so again, just making sure we've got everything that we need inside of here. Um, you can change the ordering of the form. So if we click into the form on the left hand side over here, we can click on edit fields and we can change the ordering of these fields. So let's say, for example, we might want the quote um, at the very end underneath the rating. We can drag that down and that will then move that quote down for us beneath here. Some of the basic things we might want to do is we might want to change the color theme. So underneath this theme options, we can choose a color theme which might go better with our sort of brand. So um, on this case, I'm just going to click on this light gray color just to change the coloring. But all in all, if it's just a simple app that I want to be able to uh, submit data through and edit, uh, I can simulate this by clicking this play button, this preview button across the top and see these items. I can add a new item by clicking on the create new item button here and uh, I can fill out this form. Once I've filled everything out, I can click on the submit and that'll then add this to the items. I can also interact with the items by clicking on them. I can see the view item page. I could delete an item by clicking the delete item button here, or I could edit it using this pencil. So for all the basic kind of functions of um, interacting with the SharePoint list data directly from a mobile app, this is all I need to do. The final steps is I click on file, click on save, and I click on publish publish this version, and that's then gonna publish my app so I can start using this from my mobile device. This is a quick overview. We have plenty of other videos about how to update and maintain Canvas Power App. So please take a look at that if you're looking for something specific about how to edit and update this particular type of Canvas Power App. The next option we have when it comes to using Power Apps in SharePoint Online is to customize the forms that are interacting directly on the SharePoint list. So rather than creating a Canvas Power App, which is interacting almost in an external way to the SharePoint list, we're going to actually be customizing the forms that come with SharePoint. Um, so 
When you go to a SharePoint list and click on new, you'll see that there's a default out of the box SharePoint form. And this is exactly the same form which is used if you go to edit an item within a SharePoint list as well. It's exactly the same form um, that we can see here. And it's really, really simplistic. Um, if we wanted to customize this, so maybe we wanted to brand this up a little bit to add a bit more kind of, uh, sort of style to the page or um, we want to reorder things or maybe even add in some like custom buttons which are going to run some Power Automate workflows, for example, then we need to edit this form using Power Apps. So all we need to do, if we click on the new button and then across the top of this uh, form designer, um, you'll see that there's some other options here. We can choose to edit the columns of um, the, the SharePoint. This is all completely out of the box. Uh, and you can configure the layout um, uh, and use uh, JSON formatting um, as well. But in this case, we're going to use custom customize with Power Apps to open this up in the Power Apps interface. Um, and again, this is going to spin up. It's going to open up a sort of uh, pre kind of templated um, design um, for our form, the SharePoint list. Um, and then we're going to then make some alterations using the out of the box functionality. It's exactly the same functionality as building a standalone canvas power app, but we are customizing this SharePoint form. This might take a couple of minutes just to spin up, um, but once it's then loaded, it will look a little bit like this. So we can see now it's put in our fields uh, into this kind of order. Now there's a few things that are still not quite right with um, the way that Power Apps will kind of work for this. So you can see, for example, this description box now uh, is a little bit small. So we might want to just drag this down a little bit. We're going to select the actual field itself and change the mode to multi-line so it knows it's multi-line text. And we'll drag this down just to make sure we've got plenty of room uh, for this. Maybe we want to add a sort of custom kind of color header across the top. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, to our form, select the form, and we're going to pull this down slightly just to make a little bit of space across the top. Um, and then we need to add in a shape. So we're going to add in a shape, which is going to be the colored top header. So I can click on insert, uh, click on icons, and then I scroll down to where the shapes are. Select rectangle. And I'm just going to put this up here. Now I could change this color to be anything that I like. So on the, the right hand side over here, uh, we can change the color. Uh, maybe let, let's put this to um, ba -ba -ba -boom. maybe sort of a dark kind of blue. Um, and then I'm going to apply some text over the top of this. So I'm going to put uh, a text box in here. So I'm going to put in a label. Uh, again, I'll make this kind of full width. We'll set the text to be centered. Uh, we might want to make the text a little bit bigger. So let's make it maybe size 14. And we're going to make it bold. And we're going to make the text white. And then just put this in as a sort of reviews. We'll just call it review. Um, and then once we're happy with that, if we've made our customizations, again, this is just a quick overview. We've got plenty of other videos how you can customize Power Apps and add new features and functionality, but just showing you how we do this directly on a SharePoint list. But once we're happy with this, we click on a file, we click on save, we click on publish to SharePoint, and then this might take a couple of minutes to apply, but you can go straight back to your SharePoint list by clicking on this uh, link on here. It's probably worth just doing a quick refresh or control F5 of the page um, and click on new. And that's obviously not just taking effect just yet. So we're going to take another control F5. Again, it can take a minute, two minutes for this just to load. We know that it's now loaded because when we click on new, we see that Power Apps option spin up and we can then see the stylings now kicked in. So we've got the review box across the top. We've got a description box, which is bigger and it's now customized the way this looks and feels. Again, if you want more advice about how to update uh, and create uh, and customize this, we've got plenty of other videos on our channel about how you can add additional functionality into your Canvas apps.
I hope you enjoyed that video. If you need help, we do offer professional services, including bespoke development, training packages, and pay-as-you-go support that can bridge those knowledge gaps within your current team. You can email me at dougie at valto.co.uk, and we also offer free consultations to discuss your specific requirements. We'll then give you a no-obligation quote. If that sounds good, I hope to hear from you soon.